we're going to talk about the Mantis X system. We're going to talk about how you're going to improve your draw with this tool. Stay tuned. The cheapest of the Mantis X system. Um, it's a hundred bucks and you're going to get your, your money's worth out of this. Typically it's not used for drawing purposes. However, we're going to use it for drawing purposes and you're going to improve greatly just for a hundred bucks and some time and effort on your part. I'm putting it on the bottom of the magazine with the universal mag adapter, which you're going to have to pay for uh, on that as well. However, it's going to be cheaper than anything. Your Mantis X systems give you that fundamental base. And when you use these things, it gives you a score based off your stability. Uh, so I'm going to turn it on. And then I'm going to go to the empty magazine into my I'm going to put the fire on the table because it has to calibrate through the Mantis X app on my phone. I'm going to go to par timer. When I get a par timer, I'm going to go to drill. We're going to do two drills with the same par timer. It's all based off of, you know, how much time you're going to allow yourself to have. The first drill is strictly speed. We're not worried about our stability score, that score from zero to hundred that I talked about. We're not going to worry about that. We're gonna really focus on how fast you can get the firearm out and onto target. Okay. The second thing we're gonna do after we focus on speed is we're gonna focus on actually being stable. So let me explain real quick before I even do the drill. When you have your firearm holstered, you wanna be able to get the firearm out and onto target as fast as possible pull the firearm out, I want my firearm ready to receive my support hand on the way out to what I call position four. Different methods of drawing or at least different ways to explain it. And I, I like to say there's four steps to the draw process. You're moving to and through them. You're not going to them and then going to the next one like a robot. Initially, you may be but it should be a smooth draw, whether you're using like a three point system or four point system or whatever. The point is you want it from the holster to the target as fast as humanly possible while also maintaining relative accuracy. Now, if you're shooting USPSA or something of that nature, you want to be fairly accurate if you want to score well. Um, defensive accuracy is a thing, but you still want to be as accurate as you possibly, possibly can. Because every round you fire is your responsibility, and unless your name is Alec Baldwin. You want to be able to come out of the holster as quick as possible, ready to receive your support hand, and then out to full presentation. I'm going to take this part time and for me, it's going to be different for you probably. I want to be, I want my, each one of my draws to be under 1.3 seconds, to be under 1.3 seconds regardless of how stable I am. While I'm doing that, I'm going to notice my grip, whether it's a good grip or a bad grip, what do I need to adjust? on my next draw. What do I need to adjust on my next draw? It's all about trying to be better on that grip because that is the single most important fundamental, at least in my point of view, when it comes to shooting a pistol. Start. Once I hit start, I'm gonna sit there and stand by. That was not 1.3 seconds, so I need to be faster. That was under 1.3 seconds. And that was also under 1.3 seconds. For 84, that was, un that was over 1.3. 61 and 48. So my average score was 64.8 and my total time was 3.85. Not worried about the score, okay? 
In fact, my score probably should have been lower had I been faster on that first shot. Because once I do a couple of drills only with speed and I am shooting or I'm actually obtaining that speed on a consistent basis, let's say eight out of nine shots or seven out of nine shots or how many of them, whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna go back to the drill setting and I'm gonna take that par time. And in this case, I'm almost doubling. I'm actually, I'm actually going to 2.5 seconds, okay? So I'm going from 1.3 to 2.5 seconds. Well, that's actually a lot of time. And uh, and what you want to do is you want to be as close to that time as possible to take as much time that you need to be accurate. So I'm not focused on speed anymore. I'm focused on actually uh, the stability of the firearm in this case. Again, three shots. What we want to do, we want to be fast on the draw, and then when we get to our target, we want to make sure we have good sight alignment and sight picture before you squeeze the trigger all the way. Now, when you get all the way out to full presentation, you should be at the wall of the trigger, ready to fire, but not firing until you're completely stable. That is the key to this drill. Okay, so here we go. Each one of those scores, because I was focused, I took just a little bit of time to focus on my grip. I had an average score of 94.5 from the draw. Now my time out of three shots, my total time was 6.57. So my time, in essence, it doubled, right, from where I was focused on speed, but I have more accuracy. If you go back and forth, focus on speed and then focus on accuracy or stability when you're using the Mantis, you're going to find that your scores are going to start coming together and you're going to figure out that you can probably pull off a pretty quick shot with a relatively good score. So now I'm not going to focus on either one of them. I'm just going to fire. Let's see what I can get by not really trying to be as fast as possible and not being as accurate as possible. Okay. 1.38, and 1.73 at 91. So Faster than when I was focusing on accuracy or stability, less accurate or stable, but I had a faster time. So I had a score, an average score for those three shots, 84.7 and a total time of 4.40. You can use this training tool for your drawing training needs and you can become fast and accurate at the same time. Tack out.